What's up everybody? Brother Noel here. Just want to share with you my reflection on today's gospel. The Passover meal that we read of in the book of Exodus is what separates the Jews from every other nation. Likewise, the holy sacrifice of the Mass is what separates the Catholics from every other religion. The essence is the same, the sacrificing of a lamb, but at the Mass, Jesus is the lamb. So, the Mass is at the heart of Catholicism. Even the Gospel today accounts for it when St. Luke says how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. This breaking of the bread is the Mass, it's the Eucharist that he speaks of. So how can we claim then that the Mass is at the heart of Catholicism? Because the very first thing Jesus did after he had resurrected from the dead was celebrate Mass. The very first public thing Jesus did was celebrate the Mass. When? On the road to Emmaus with the two disciples. Our Divine Lord broke open the Word to them, which is the first part of the Mass, the Liturgy of the Word. Then He broke bread with them, which is the Liturgy of the Eucharist. And it was there that they recognized Him. They recognized Him in the breaking of the bread. They recognized Him in the Mass. They recognized Him in the Eucharist. And it was this, this act, this public act, this Mass, that compelled the disciples to go and tell the Apostles that truly our Divine Lord had risen from the dead. The Catholic Mass is at the heart of Catholicism. It is our identity as Catholics. It is what makes us universal. It is what brings us together as one. We're all, we all meet at the sacrifice of the Mass when we offer up ourselves at the altar, uniting ourselves to Jesus Christ so that the Father may see us through His Son. For this reason, Archbishop Sheen even says, the Mass, for this reason, is the greatest event in the history of mankind. This only holy act, which keeps the wrath of God from a sinful world, because it holds the cross between heaven and earth. Padre Pio even says, The world may even survive without the Son, but not without the Catholic Mass. So, people of God, be assured and hopeful that though the Mass is not celebrated publicly, it is still being celebrated, it is still being prayed for by our priests, for our intentions, for our family, for our friends, for our health, that the, this plague may even end. It is still being prayed for today. That though the church doors may be closed, this priests are still in there, the priests are still there praying for us. The Mass is still going on. So from the heart of our Heavenly Father, this is St. Barnabas. Peace, y'all.